Hello everyone, welcome to this week tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a ringtone on iOS 13.3 and I'm going to be using iPhone 8. If you're new to this channel, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss out any tutorial when I upload. To do this tutorial, we are going to use only one application and it is going to be GarageBand, which you can download from the App Store. Once downloaded, open GarageBand. This is what you get when you open the application for the first time, a blank canvas. Click on this plus sign and it will take you here where you have live loops and track. We will not create a music but use an existing music on the phone to create a ringtone. Click on track app and select audio recorder. Here. Click on this brick icon to take us to the song section. For ringtone, the music you will create or the song we will use, it must be equal or less than 30 seconds in length. So here we will adjust the length of the song. Click on this little plus sign. The music is going to be on section A. Click on section A and adjust the length by tapping up here at manual to increase the seconds from 8 to 30 seconds. Then click done. Click on this alpha sign to take us to the music library. Here you have Apple's loop, files and music. Click on music. You have the option here to look for it based on albums, artists, genre, playlists and songs. For me, I'm going to click on songs. If you want to listen to the song before you import, tap once in the music and it will play. And you will see these small bull waves on the right side. To select the music and import, Press and hold the song. Your current window will change taking you back to the previous one. While holding this song, drag it to the section A where you have this microphone and release it. Here at the top you have some basic control, stop, play, record and others which you can use anytime you want. If you swipe from right to left, you can see the length of the music in the top. To adjust where you want the music to start and end, Click the song to select it and you will get two handles, one in the beginning and the other one in the end. Click the handle in the beginning of the song and drag it right or left until you find the point where you would like the music to start. Once you have identified this point, release the handle. Notice that when you do that, the length of the song has reduced it. To adjust it, click the handle on the other end and drag it to the right to fill the blank space. If you click outside but inside the canvas, you will unselect any selected track. And if you double tap the track, you will have more functions, such as cut, copy, split, rename, settings and others which you can use to adjust your music. Once you have done with the adjustments, click on this arrow which will save the song and take you to my songs area. Here you will have all the songs that you have created. In our case, we just have this one. Here you can change a few things. If you force search the song, you will get these options. I'm going to rename this song. I already have a ringtone with the same name, so I'll give this one Show Me Too and then click Done. Now force search the song and select Share. Click on ringtone. You will get this information saying your ringtone length needs to be 30 seconds or less and will be automatically shortened to appropriate length. Our song already has 30 seconds so I'm going to click continue and then click export. When it finishes you will get this information. You have the option to select the song from here has your standard ringtone or not and more. I'm going to show you the two options that you have to select the song has your ringtone. If you click use sound has, 
you have all these options. To select it as your default ringtone, click on standard ringtone and then click done. You have selected the song as your ringtone. The other option is go to settings, sounds, ringtones and here you have all the ringtones available on your phone for you to choose. As you can see here, I have the ringtone that I have just created, show me too. Click on it to select as your default ringtone. And that's all. Well guys, that's all for this video. If you like this tutorial, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, it will mean a lot to me and will help the channel to grow. I'll see you in the next video.